Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your 72 hour reading. Uh, this is the energy around you for the next 72 hours. It could resonate with you, it could not. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Sagittarius, okay? So let's get into it. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below on how to reach me, how to even get your own 72 hour reading, okay? So for love, what's going on for love and romance? For Sagittarius. All right, let's see. All right. Okay, Sag. Okay, all right. The bottom of the deck, we have a Knight of Cups. Nice. So we have someone wanting to invest emotionally. This could be you, Sag. This could be someone else. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. This could be Aquarius in love. Let's see, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, Four of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Some of you want to reconcile with the mother of your children or someone who you want to be the mother of your children. You want to move the mother of your children closer to you. You are giving them a large sum of money. Uh, you want to have them on a hook some way. Not only do you want this woman, the mother of your children, but you also want another. You want maybe an ending to separation. Something about the children, the mother moving to a neighborhood. You offering something or they're, they're offering something. You're offering maybe even the olive branch or... Uh, emotional investment let's start a relationship back up but it looks like it's open it's an open relationship sad so sad if it could be vice versa you're the the father of your children is saying hey let's just cut the bs i don't want to fight with you anymore i don't want to argue um i do love you i'm going to give you money on a consistent basis or they're going to give you a time frame I want to reconcile. I want you in my life. But you're not going to be the only woman in my life. They may even say something to that nature to that effect. Or or that will be what you gather from the conversation. Um, they want the tide to turn. They want better communication with you. They want luck with you. They want luck to be a lady. And it, they want it to be you in their bed tonight if that will happen. If you're up for it, right? Um, they see that you're still single. And they they want an opportunity. They may even be proposing that you come and live with them. Or can they live with you? Okay, let's see what this, the shells have to say about this. What does it say for the Sag in love? And, and if it's those of you who don't have any children, um, this could be someone coming to you. Uh, maybe someone who you, you had a falling out with. They want the tide to turn also. It could be a fixed sign. It doesn't have to be. But they want to have better communication with you. They're still holding on to the idea of maybe reconciling with you and having something with you. Could be a cancer person. Uh, it could be anyone. Furthermore, um, this could be same sex. Also, this is um, someone is wanting to come back. They definitely want to date you, court you again. Uh, they're holding on to the idea of I don't know let's see what is what is this for the sad okay we've got some of you holding on to your family holding on to the the home but you're still dating it's like you have an open relationship with maybe the mother of your children if you do live together Close, yeah, closure. Hmm. 
some some of the so it's going to be that some of you want to close out a negative cycle with someone who you have children with some of you just want to close out a negative cycle with someone who maybe you still have the idea of you fill in the blank maybe you running away together and having a family i don't know or, or vice versa someone's feeling this way about you newborn baby maybe kids that's what i'm saying and money didn't i say that something about somebody's going to give you money on a consistent basis and they're going to give you a large sum uh, but they want you closer to them they want the kids or the kid or the newborn baby closer to them they want to come out of indifference with you not because they want to be with you forever in holy matrimony uh in in a monogamous relationship but more so because they want you on the team okay all right so that's that let's see what the advice here is for you sagittarius either you're feeling that way about another or someone's feeling that way about you sag all right and those who don't have children with that person keep in mind this person may want to date you again court you but you might not be the only one they still have the idea of okay they're still holding on to so let's see take action take action I don't know what action that that's gonna be but take action you're ready <laughs> okay let's see in the near future okay let's get some more advice cards here those are for me pretty vague um and I, I can hear somebody out there saying yeah me too <laughs> um, some of you just want to come out and this could even be with your wife or the woman you live with you're like look we we don't need to be beefing we don't need to be mad at each other we don't need to be at each other's throats i still love you i still want my kids and my family um but i also want to run these streets okay and um that that, that might be what someone is saying to you what's the advice here someone also may be saying they need the help the money for wands five of swords in the home there is indifference dissension discord mm. can be an element of jealousy too maybe from a Taurus there's somebody interfering this person has a, like I said has another person Queen of Wands your Sag has another person okay um, and they want to keep it that way and they're busybody they're always gone they're always in the streets they're always doing something they're here they're there oh I gotta go over here oh I gotta do this oh I gotta do that oh lord um Knight of Cups but and, and they may be just in love with love they may be in love with the newness you know they like that judgment this is someone saying look the past is over we're living in the present today here and now we got to change some aspect of our lifestyle and it's that i want you and the other person and maybe somebody else too i don't know but this is what's going on this is what's happening and you need to either get with it or get left behind someone maybe even you have children with or you just had a new baby with sad or, or vice versa they want a second chance yeah new, had a new baby with you had a new baby with someone you have children with they still either you sad or another person still has reservation about you they might come to you and tell you they've been lying to themselves they've been lying to you about the the bipolarism of their needs and their wants and their emotions this person feels like they need more than one person and they may give you their truth the knight of swords speaks their truth it's not absolute truth but it's, it's my truth you know it's how i see things right page of swords without tact without all of the, the foo-foo and the fluff they're telling you king of cups 
This is somebody who keeps exes around to feed the ego. This is a guy who want, is in love with love. This is a guy who sometimes you can't read because he has mastered the emotions. This is a master of emotions. This is a master manipulator of emotions. Also, he can use it for good. He can use it for bad. Um, there could also be someone, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, spying on you. Watch out. Watch out. Could be a Piscean person. Could be a Libra or you're spying on a Libra because they rejected you or, or you they you don't want them to live with you or something about the living situation yep divorcing this you want them out you want to separate that is your wish honey bless y'all okay bless all y'all in that um career and finance did we do a Stones. We did not do our shells for, or did we? We did do our shells. Yes, we did our shells. Okay, so we're going on to career and finance. Okay, all right, career and finance for my Sagittarius. Career and finance for Sag. Career and finance for Sag. All right. Career finance for Sag. Oh, any time today, Sag. Okay, there we go. First card out. Career finance for Sag. All right. Career finance. All right, Jack of Spades. So once again, you're playing many faces, wearing many hats, um, being being what you need to be in your career, maybe even with your finances. There might have been a, a, a state of immaturity, maybe where you, you kind of uh, squandered some money here. Uh, you weren't being reliable. Queen of Diamonds, Five of Hearts, Seven of Hearts, Ten of Spades. There is either you sad or someone you're dealing with being very materialistic. I'm here to overshadow the hurt, the pain, the grief. There's somebody just buying and just doing and spending money so they do not have to deal with the hurt and the pain of uh, making some grave decision or there might even been someone you said there may have been someone being immature with the finances because they knew that they were waiting for money they they knew that luck is on their side because they were already waiting for this money they you know um there may have been some plans that didn't play out as you wanted them to maybe with a mother figure mother of there there's a a need to revise or to gain control in regards to this this woman that you either give money to sad or maybe sad you're the one that receiving the money there's someone needing to revise a plan of action here because it looks like their promises of money could be empty Oh, they, they could be saying that I'm going to give you money on this day, the fifth of every month. But really, it's going to be, it's going to come unexpected. You know, you're going to be, the fifth will come and go. It'll be the 25th and then they, they come with the payment. 
Either this is your side or this is someone you're dealing with. This is a very immature nature or, or, or state of being. This is not a reliable person. They mean well, but they're not reliable. This came out. Religion and spirituality. Um, maybe that will help you govern yourself accordingly. Um, and help ground you from dealing with an energy that will rock your damn mind, your boat. Because... Um, this person is unreliable altogether. Just take the next step. I'm hearing that some of you did. You wanted to stay out of court, but you might have to go to court because now you're gonna feel differently. Relationship dynamics gonna feel differently about this relationship because this person is not keeping their word. Okay. Um, let's see what. Career and finance, this, maybe even in your career, there's some things that didn't turn out how you thought they would. So now you're at a place of trying to make some complex decision or choice in regards to either end it and go elsewhere. Uh, take another position like quickly when it presents itself for some of you. Career and finance for the Sagittarius. All right, we have hard. Yeah, so maybe a decision because you're hesitating before making that decision is hard. A hard decision, but you have help here. You have closed hate and lack. Excuse me. Maybe you you don't like this new position very much. You hate it. It is hard to walk away. Some of you, it's hard to deal with the hurt and the grief and the pain, so you're spending like crazy. This is lack of stability emotionally. Confusion also here. You need to close this cycle or something's closed. Yeah. What is the advice? You know, what is this? What's the advice for for the Sagittarius in regards to career and finance? You do have unexpected money coming in. That could be in regards to someone, uh, you know, finally, you know, living up to their word. Justice. And then, what does justice say? Either good advice or debt repaid. You might have to take somebody's ass to court. To get your money to be the magician, make sure you play your cards right with people. Sometimes getting things out of people, gov it, it causes for a little finesse or, or a little uh, massaging of, of the ego or of the truth. Play your cards right um, in order to get what you're hoping, wishing, and praying for. Meditation is bringing answers for you in regards to recovery. Will I ever recover from this situation? Ten of Wands. Again, some of you is, will I move? Will I have to move with my children? Move for my children? Yet yeah, you're worried about home, family, children. Um... Be strong in the face of adversity. Stand your ground. No, stay, stay to your convictions. What you will and won't do in regards to maybe lawsuit, legal matters, dealing with someone who's difficult. Because if you stand your ground, then it'll land you on that path or land you to getting what it is you want. But be unwavering in dealing with someone because somebody is um, seven of hearts. They they say things. Promises made just to break them. They don't mean what they say. You cannot take it at face value. Okay? Could be a Leo. Okay, Sag. I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity for the next 72 hours. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you want your own 72-hour reading, the link is below. 
Keep in mind, you do not ask questions with the 72-hour reading. I just pull cards for you in regards to love and romance, career, and finance. If you want a reading where you can ask questions, book another video recorded reading, or take advantage of the 30-minute phone reading that is on sale where you can get me on the phone and you can ask me questions and I'll pull cards for you. Thank you once again. Take care. Many blessings to you.